Hi there. We have some new books and I'm going to talk a little bit about each book and their kids books which I love to catalog because they're so beautiful and so artistic and creative. Um, the books that I chose have a nature theme and so I'll just quickly show you them in case you're interested in checking them out. So we've got Hello Spring by Shelley Rotner and it's a great harbinger of the season we all love. It shows photographs of kids and plants and animals and um, it's very enjoyable. Okay and the next one is Over and Under the Pond. It's um, simply illustrated and uh, very mute tones but um, very well planned out graphically and it illustrates uh, pond ecology both from the surface and underneath the surface of ponds. Ribbit is a very simple book illustrating the lives of frogs. This would be great for toddlers. The next one is Robins and it's told from the Robins perspective and it tells you the story of, Rob, of Robin's lives and it has great information in the back of the book. It has a bibliography of other titles and websites. And the next one, All Ears and All Eyes, tells a bedtime story of the dimming life of oncoming nighttime in the woods. And then we have Carolyn's Comets which is a true story about Carolyn Herschel who was the first professional women's scientist and she discovered some comets and that's a great easy biography and then we have uh, Fantastic Flowers uh, which is kind of a Georgia O'Keeffe like illustration of the shapes of flowers and in the back of the book there are photographs of real flowers with their Latin and common names. Then we have a book that would be great for a family going on vacation to the Grand Canyon. We have um, illustrations and texts about the geology and ecology of the Grand Canyon. And then for Yellowstone, we have a book about the return of the wolves and how that's positively affected Yellowstone's ecology. So I thank you very much and visit the library and check these out.